So this is a question which you have shared in the WhatsApp group. The following information relates to question four and five. Uh, next two questions. Dandi makes cakes for which the budgeted profit per unit is as follows. Uh, material two, labor three, variable production over at three, fixed production over at four, variable selling cost one, fixed selling over at two, profit is five, sell, sales price is 20. Okay, two plus three, five, eight, 12, 13, 2, 15. Yeah, 15 are the total cost. So this is what we see here. Uh, from here until this point, you have production cost, and these two are non-production cost. $12 is your production cost. $3 is your non-production cost. Total cost is 15. And then you have $5 as profit and selling price is 20. And so $15 is total cost within which these two are selling and fixed, fixed selling overhead and variable selling overhead. So this is actually variable selling overhead this will change with the level of product with the level of sales but this one will remain same remain same means that i tell you it says both types of fixed overheads were based on a budget of 10000 cakes per year so actually your fixed selling cost should be 10000 multiplied by 2 so it means that $20,000 is your fixed selling cost. Now, whether you sell less or you do not sell anything, you have to spend $20,000 on fixed selling cost, okay? So both types of fixed overheads were based on budget of 10,000 cakes per year. In the first year of production, the only difference from the budget was the Dundee produced 11,000 cakes and sold 9,000. What was the profit made under, in, uh, uh, under an absorption costing system? So how do you calculate production, uh, the profit under absorption costing system? So whatever you produced, you produced 11. So uh, naturally speaking, your, you incurred cost with 11,000, but they will not go into the profit and loss. In profit and loss statement, for example, if I write down profit and loss statement, uh, I'm doing this question in very informal way, just to show you, if you have a profit and loss statement, you should be talking about sales, not about the production. And your sales are definitely 9,000 units, okay? So how do we do that? We would say that sales, so what is your sales price? Sales price is 20, how much is quantity 9,000? I first will do it in a long ways to explain you. And then I can give you a short method of doing it in exam. But here I'm not doing the question. I'm explaining the question. This is your sales. And then you talk about your cost of sales. Okay. In cost of sales, you have material, you have labor, you have variable overhead and you have fixed overhead. Okay. So material is how much? Material cost is, so quantity, I will take this 9,000 <clears> for material labor variable overhead. So material is $2, labor is $3. Where this question went away. Okay, so labor is how much? Labor is $3. Then you have variable production overhead, which is $3. And these costs will be calculated with the variable quantities. As I say that, first I'm doing it with a long method, but then I will show you how to do it in exam with a shorter method. So this is your material cost, variable cost. Now comes to fixed overhead. Now, if you pay attention, if you pay attention to this sentence, the question says both types of fixed overheads were based on a budget of 10,000 cakes per year. So your fixed production overhead was based on a 10,000 thing. 
So it was like two dollars. Fixed production overhead is four dollar, and you should take it for ten thousand because this is what you had fixed. Okay. So I make this thing. So until here, I come to this is my gross profit. After gross profit, you have selling expenses. You would say variable selling cost. And then you should say fixed selling cost. So how much is the variable selling cost? Of course, variable selling cost should also be based on 9,000 units because this is variable. So it makes you how much? Variable selling cost makes you $2. We should take this number and we get this one. And then you have fixed selling cost. Fixed selling cost is again $2, but you should take it for 10,000 because they told you in question that both type of fixed overheads are based on 10,000 units. Variable selling cost is $1. Variable selling cost is $1. Thank you very much and you come to your profit. This should be your profit, $39,000. This is your profit under absorption costing method. Are we clear? Any question, please? Is this not the answer? Does somebody have the answer for this question? The answer is 47,000. 47,000. The book says 47,000. Uh, wait a minute. 9,000 units you sold. Uh, 9,000 selling price is 20. Then you have material with 9,000. Labor cost is $3 with 9,000. Variable overhead is $3 with 9,000. Fixed overhead fixed production overhead. Ah, but this is this will go into the closing inventory. This will go into the closing inventory. Uh, if I take it into the closing inventory, this one, fixed selling, what was the profit made under an absorption costing system? So my fixed overhead, this will go into the cost of sale, but this I will keep. Fixed selling cost is two with 10,000. This variable selling cost is $1. 20 and you said how much how much you said profit 47 47000 okay <sighs> okay let's do it with another way if i say my selling price is 20 let me check the answer in another way and then i have my variable cost so variable costs are which one? Variable cost is dollar two material plus labor is dollar three plus variable overhead is three plus variable selling cost is one. So these are my variable costs. I'm doing it with the method of marginal costing and then I will come to the absorption costing. So, so it means the contribution is 11. It means that our contribution is dollar 11 if contract so total contribution is 11 multiplied by 9000 because we sold 9000 units so total contribution is 99000 and we say less fixed cost and fixed costs are how much fixed costs are uh 10000 units multiplied by fixed cost you have production fixed cost is $4 plus selling fixed cost is $2 so this is your fixed cost what do you get here is 60000 and the answer even is 39000 this actually 39000 should be the answer here it should also be 10,000. 
where you do like this, you do like this, answer should come 39,000. I don't know how do they uh, calculate it with uh, 47. Where, is, where did you take this question? BPP or Kaplan? Please explain this question uh, when we take... Oh, sorry, this mar is marginal. Sorry, this is now marginal costing profit. Yes, I, this is marginal costing. This is marginal. And they asked you absorption costing? Yes, sir. Okay. So they ask us absorption costing. And we know that the difference in inventory. Uh, there is no opening inventory. So difference in inventory is 11,000 minus 9,000, right? So 2,000. What is OAR? Overhead absorption rate is $4. Fixed overhead cost is $4. Yeah. Yes, sir. So four. So difference in profit. So we got it 47. So this is the difference in profit should be 8,000. So we say that MC profit is 39,000. And difference added because it, Inventory goes up, absorption costing profit goes up. We remember this rule, we have done it many times. So AC profit will be 47,000. Yeah, it is true. Absor profit should be 47,000. So this is actually one way of doing it. Like in the beginning, I told you that first I will do it with the long way. By the way, I will check why 39 is coming here. We should make it 47 also. But I said that how you should be doing it in exam. So this is how you should be doing it in exam. Always first find out the marginal costing profit and then make adjustment to, to absorption costing. So 47,000 should be the answer. If you understand this thing until here, ask me any question. If you don't, then I will go and make correction on the top. If you understand until here. It's clear, sir. It's clear, right? Yes, sir. You know this logic of absorption costing, marginal costing profit difference. Yes, Great. Now, why? What mistake did we make here, uh, sir? Maybe because it's uh, because of the over or under absorption. So here, yeah, fixed overhead. Actually, we should subtract the closing inventory. This should be yes. nine thousand. That's for sure. So, but it makes you forty-three. And fixed selling cost. Also, they are doing it. We have to do it with nine thousand. And mm, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Fixed selling cost, 43. Gross profit comes up here. Uh, did so we... One thing, variable selling uh, overheads, we return off with full uh, 10,000. Variable selling cost, actually, they told us because it is variable, so it will depend on the number of units sold. Okay, sir. So that is correct. Uh, ah, ha, ha, ha. sorry, <clears throat> in the production cost, actually we should adjust for this thing because we have to do absorbed overhead, absorbed overhead. This you should be doing it with absorbed overhead method. What see here? Uh, actually, this is nine, this is four, it should be 36,000, but I'm not putting 37, 36,000 because absorption costing, it says that you should be uh, absorbing the cost. We have to absorb the cost, absorb. And how do you absorb the cost? You said that your fixed overhead, production fixed overhead is the fixed amount, which is 20, which is 10,000 units multiplied by $4. So you should have a fixed overhead of 40,000. Now, how much you produced actually? You produced in between 11,000 units. So you spent $40,000, but as a result of $40,000 spending, uh, this is dollars and this is units. You produced more unit. So your actual overhead per unit is 40,000 divided by 11,000. So we should be doing 40,000 
divided by 11,000. So our overhead per unit actually it is 3.63. What we thought, what we planned was $4. But what we actually made is $3.63. So it means that we absorbed less. So I say that now budgeted overhead was four and actual overhead is 3.3636. So in budget, so you have budgeted more and actual less. So there is a case of under over absorption here. So how much is the, is the difference? So that difference is four minus 3.63 and total units were 11,000. So it means that your under over under absorbed overhead is this much. So 4,004. If I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, 2000, the difference is total units difference, total unit difference. <clears throat> Production and sale difference, like 11,000 minus 9,000, the difference is 728. So this difference will go to under over absorbed. And this is what we wrote down here, the 727 or 728, just rounding off difference. And where this number comes from, 32727, we said that we had total cost of 40,000 and actual production is 11,000. It means that overhead per unit is 3.63. <clears throat> and how much is sales? Sales is just 9,000. So in cost of sales, this will go. You will say 9,000 units each unit fixed overhead is this much. So 3272 is says <coughs> 32727 is coming from here. This is 32727. This 32727, it comes from here. Because what you do that while making your absorption costing statement in your cost of sale, <coughs> you add absorbed overhead. So this fixed overhead, this is absorbed. This is absorbed overhead. And then you have to add under over absorption difference. And here you come the gross profit. This is a long method, but like in the beginning, we said that in exam, you should be using simple method, which is this one. Always find out the contribution from contribution, subtract the fixed cost. You get marginal costing profit and you add the difference and you get to absorption costing profit. A little bit tricky question, but done. Sadiq, any, any further question? Yes, sir, one more uh, sharing group. <clears throat> Which one, Sadiq? 